Assalamualaikum Selamat pagi Selamat sejahtera Good morning Today I would like to speak about our program uh, Aerospace Industry Preparation Course And this is session number one Introduction And uh, I would like to explain uh, We are developing this course In the view of There are Industry, aerospace industry is not uh, well known by most of the people, especially the students, the graduating students, as well as other person or other people wanted to go into the industry. Uh, the aerospace industry is highly controlled, strictly controlled at all level, from the material suppliers up to the aircraft assembly and also aircraft maintenance, the management of aircraft awareness, the management of competency of the person, the management and planning of work throughout this industry is strictly controlled and require a high level of competency. And it is well structured. We have design, go to production, production to operation, and to continually to be in operation, you have to have the uh, maintenance organization MRO and you have to have an organization to manage the aircraft awareness and you have to have the organization that provide the competent person to the industry. So it's well it's structured from design production to the personnel to the suppliers so it's really highly structured and it's highly independent, highly interdependent uh, where basically as if our training is not sufficient we don't have a competent person that can endanger the aircraft. If we material supplier is not pro providing good quality of material, also can endanger the aircraft. The aircraft structure will fail prematurely. So those are how everyone is working together in a framework and interdependence. And require high level competency. This is very important. The people going into the aviation industry must have I must be highly competent. Competency, there are three factors, knowledge, skill and experience. So these three items bring the people to be competent. So we have to prepare the people, you have to prepare yourself. If you're going into the industry, you have to be competent. And my observation, after being in the academics for almost 10 years, my observation are the students who are enrolling into the aerospace program, either diploma or degree in, aeros in aerospace engineering, in aeronautical engineering, or for example, MIAT is a Bachelor of Aircraft Engineering Technology and uh, Mechanical Avionics. They are basically uh, came in because they have passion, passion on aircraft, but they don't understand what basically happening uh, around the industry. And you only see the aircraft flying at the airport, but you don't see what are how extensive are the work required to ensure the aircraft is flying. So those are something I'm trying to share my experience in the aspect of how to get this aircraft flying. And from the understanding, they will be able to pick up uh, the career path or career with respect to their interest in the patient. Someone maybe like to do project, so they could be in the planning department. Someone maybe like to work with their hand to repair things, that could be the licensed aircraft engineer. So those, by understanding the whole aircraft industry framework, they were able to match their, their interest, their passion to the job available. So they will be able to prepare to equip themselves with their proper competency. So the prep course basically explaining in general from the the, uh, the organization how to be a design organization, how to be a production organization, how to be a maintenance organization and how this organization work, how to get the approval, how to maintain the approval. From that understanding, they will know who would be required in the industry, who would be required in design, who would be required in maintenance. But that required person require competency and that's how they can map themselves into that competency 
for them to be able to enter to into the in company. So that will be the job prospect. About myself, I've been 30 years in the aerospace industry. My name is Abu Hanifa Haji Abdullah and I have FAMP certificate. I have double degree, Bachelor of Science Aeronautics, Circle Maintenance Engineering, Bachelor of Science Aerospace Engineering, a Master of Science in Aerospace Vehicle Design and I'm also HRDF certified trainer. And if someone interested, you can get this program through HRDF as well. And my work experience, my first work with Aero Sandy Amarhat, I was the uh, aeronautical engineer there doing repair, uh, design of repair, design of mod, uh, and uh, troubleshooting of the aircraft, and uh, doing uh, aircraft uh, damage inspection, uh, aircraft crash recovery, and and many of those. Uh, basically, if we work in the civil uh, aircraft industry, we can we can I can call it as technical services. And then I moved to Australia uh, with whole family there. Uh, and then I worked for the Eagle Aircraft uh, International. Uh, that's the time where I have, I have the experience, I gain the experience in the aircraft uh, composite. Then I came back, I worked for the Department of Civil Aviation. Uh, it used to be, which is now a Civil Aviation Authority in Malaysia. And I was, uh, they call it a wilderness engineer, design surveyor which I'll be, I was doing a, a lot of aircraft uh, modif approval for modification, uh, modification uh, approval for repair, uh, type validation, type acceptance, uh, issuing CFR certificate or registration, certificate of awareness, and doing audit on the organization, uh, basically MRO, and also uh, uh, doing a, a procedure, developing procedure, policy for the Department of Civil Aviation Awareness. Division at that time. I have been involved with the small JAR VLR, VLR very light rotorcraft, Dragonfly, uh, Part 25 A320, A330, A340, and JAR VLA, very light aircraft, Eagle 150, and Part 23 MDT 160, and Part 29 Super Puma L2, and 1A109119. Also, I have experience in hot air airship, airship and hot air airship, which is Lintran and also doing type validation for extensive type validation for Indian uh, helicopter, ALH uh, helicopter, uh, they call it a ALH Dhruv. And also I have involved extensively, extensively on type uh, MI-171 uh, type validation in uh, Moscow. And uh, I, later I resigned, uh, I retired from government service, uh, then I joined the University of Kuala Lumpur. Uh, I'm an associate professor and during the tenure at University of Kulampo, I was the head of the uh, project. I was uh, now basically I'm holding the post of quality assurance uh, manager for part 147 which I will uh, re uh, relieve it to another person by uh, early July. And uh, I also have was the uh, head of design for the uh, Unique KL Design Center, uh, Aerospace Design Center in Berhad. And uh, at that time also, because of university also encouraged uh, lecturers to be involved in the industry. And I was the one of the inspector for AIB. And I was doing, I was in the team for MH370. And I was the team on MH and uh, 9 migb uh, which uh, helicopter crash in Kajang. Uh, Arwah uh, Chansi JJ was on board and I was still remain as a technical expert for SIRIM since 1998 uh, uh, during this uh, DCA time until today uh, I am the technical expert advising SIRIM on audit most of the space company around Malaysia and uh, I also uh, doing uh, advisory work to the companies developing aerospace SME in Malaysia and now we have developed 30 uh, SMAs into aerospace uh, 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 aerospace uh, business. Then also I'm the advisor for to several organizations, uh, Ego Seed, uh, GE, G7 Aerospace Sandy Amarhat, ITEC Sandy Amarhat, and also uh, I also had some work with uh, uh, some pressure, pressure vessel with CIRIM, uh, pre, uh, CNG. Uh, compressed natural gas uh, tank with the uh, Sirim, uh, one of the company at Sirim. So about this program is sharing experience. I'm sharing 30 years of my experience. 
I'm going through, I will go through with you all the design of design company, the expert design company, uh, how to be approved as design company, what the design company does, and uh, what the company, the design company do, and what are the competency required in the design company. And move on to production, move on to the operation of airlines, move on to the maintenance of the aircraft and component move on to continuing awareness management of the aircraft and also move into uh, a proof training organization and i will focus more on basically how to get the company approved how to maintain the approved what are the work within the company for you be able to understand where can you fit in into the company so target participant is the current student in aerospace, aeronautical, or anyone that embarking into, even though mechanical or electrical, which thinking embarking into aerospace, and graduating student who also graduating one semester, semester, or next, or, or being graduated already, and also for someone looking for job in the aviation industry. So uh, there are a few parts, I uh, volume, it's two volume, volume one and volume two, volume one is more on organization, Volume 2, more on the individual competency skill. Volume 1, I will cover introduction, which I'm doing now. Uh, part 2 will be aerospace industry. I will introduce what is aerospace industry, uh, what are the framework, and how they uh, link among themselves. Part 3, about design. Part 21, sub G, design, organization approval. Part 4, manufacturing, production, organization. Part 21, sub G. And part five is operation. Basically, there are there are few operation: airline operation, air traffic management, uh, ground handling, airport operation. So those are the main operation approved under the authority. I will cover uh, touch base. I just cover briefly on that. Probably a bit more focus on the airline operation. And part six is aircraft maintenance. Part one for five: aircraft and component, engine propeller maintenance. Part 7 is talking about awareness management, continuing awareness management organization. And also the latter one, there is a continuing awareness organization, which is cover, which is uh, used to be part M sub part F, which is only for MRO. Now they put together uh, MRO plus the management of awareness for the lighter aircraft and that they produce a new part. And also I'll cover the part 147 uh, training organizations so module breakdown if you want to go for volume two is more a competency how to be a what is a job what is competency required for showing compliance engineer what is competency required for compliance verification engineer what is competency the skill required for stress engineer for manufacturing engineer for quality auditors and also for the flight test engineer i will add more module uh, later in future so whoever interested, please contact the head of ACE, which is Cik Hafiz Haruddin. This is uh, 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 email and this is a number and also Famiza, Siti Famiza. This is the uh, email and the number. Uh, thank you for now.